Okay, everyone, so this is a product from the last video. We can move around. Uh, we have wall collisions and we have a little player animation. So now what we're going to do is we're going to get straight into the enemies. So what we're going to do is we're going to make two sprites. We're going to make one, we're going to call it enemy, and we're going to make another one, and we're going to call it waves. Wave, uh, wave system, okay? Now for the wave system sprite, you're just going to make uh, kind of the same sprite you did uh, if you watch my um, tower defense tutorial. So you're just going to do this. Darken it up a little bit. Same thing. Put that in the middle. Delete one of these. Middle. Just like that. And I'm going to resize it. Resize it. Put it in the corner. And perfect. Okay. Now we're going to go in the enemy scripts. And we're going to make three different sprites. Uh, my characters, my enemies aren't going to be anything special. They're just going to be blocks. But you're going to make this into what you want it to be. Okay. Now we're going to change its size probably to, I would say, 50 because uh, this is really big. So I set the size to 50. Still a little too big, so 40. A little too big, uh, we'll do 30. There you go, perfect. Now we're going to put it where we want it to spawn. So we're going to grab this, the code for the player collisions. We're going to grab this, right? And we're just going to drag it into the enemies and it's going to automatically work and everything. So we're going to do when greenplay is clicked or no, we're going to make a new, we're going to make a new block. Okay. And we're going to make, call the block wave system. Okay. And then what you're going to do is you're making, you're going to make another label and you're going to put amount of enemies add an input amount of enemies. Then you're going to make a type, you're going to call it type, and then you're going to add a thing for type, then you're going to add a label, you're going to call it spawn rate, then you're going to put spawn rate. So I'm not going to show you how to make each, uh, I'm going to show you how to make each individual uh, wave, and then I'm also going to show you how to make a um, different thing for uh, types and stuff. Okay, so first we're gonna make a, a new variable for this sprite only. We're gonna call it type, just like that. And we're gonna set type, set type, oops, set type to type, just like that. And then we're gonna make a new variable, and we're gonna call it round over. Oops, I misspelled it, but it doesn't matter because it's not gonna be showing. And you're gonna set round over to false. Then you're gonna repeat repeat amount of enemies just like that then I put create clone of myself wait spawn rate seconds so get a wait seconds block in there and then put spawn rate in there and there we go we have basically the main thing done so what we're gonna do next is we're gonna um we're gonna get a set variable we're gonna get a set variable right here uh, and then we're going to put uh, round over to true. Then we're going to put a wait until then get an equal and rand, round over equal false. Just like that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go to the when I receive. We're going to go into the wa waves. and you're gonna, This is the code you're going to put in. You're going to put when green flag clicked looks show. Set, you're going to make, uh, make a new one, a uh, new one green flags clicked, and you're going to put set round over to true, just like this, and then forever, get a forever, looks, go to front layer, so you can always press it, then you're going to get an if else, if else, and you're going to get an equals bracket, you're going to put true, and then you're going to get a round over variable. You're going to put looks show in the this one right here. And then you're going to get a hide and you put that right under it. This is the this is all you need for the code. Except you're going to put oh, when this sprite is clicked. Broadcast next wave. Or right, next round. Oops, I accidentally deleted it. Broadcast. Next round 
oops, I put round, it's whatever though. Let's change round, make a new variable and call it round. Change round by one, set. You don't have to hide the round variable. It's perfect right there. Set round over to false, just like that. Perfect, and now you're gonna go back into the enemy script. And so far what we have is, this is so far what we have. And now we're gonna get uh, to actual spawning the clones. And we're gonna put when I receive next round, then you're just gonna grab the block. And I'm gonna show you how to do it forever. So you're gonna put in the amount of enemies, you're gonna get a multiplication, multiplication uh, operator. Then you're gonna go to variable and you're gonna get round. You're gonna do round times, I'm gonna do five since on round one, I want five enemies, round two, I want 10, round three, I want 15, and that's how it's gonna be on. And then for type, I'm gonna do pick random one to three. For spawn rate, I'm gonna put one second. And then there we go, it's infinite rounds now. This is infinite rounds. And now we're gonna put when I start as clone, when I start as clone, show set health and you're going to make a new variable and you're going to call it health and it's going to be for this sprite only you need to put set health two and then you're going to get the round and put that in there switch costume two remember you're going to make three costumes i forgot to make the three um switch costume which costume to, and then you're gonna get, you're gonna go to variables. You're gonna make a new variable and you're gonna call it, actually, no, you're not gonna call it, you're not gonna make a new variable. You're gonna grab the type variable, I forgot we already made it. And then you're gonna put forever, set rotation style, left, right, point towards character, or point towards player, and then I'm gonna put move one step. Uh, you can do how many steps you want, I'm actually gonna do two. And then you're going to put, this is going to be for, um, and then basically this is everything you need, okay? This is all the movement scripts. And then next video, I'm going to show you how to do the weapon and then damaging the character, okay? Later.